Randy, Marsha, Eric Davis, Hades Sea Airstream, Columbus. Uh, talking 23 foot front bedroom flying cloud. Uh, thank you for giving us the shout out. I'll do a quick walk around, jump inside, maybe familiarize you a little bit more uh, with the cloud. Uh, starting right up front though, let's do this. Uh, we got Lexa, and these are, if you will, the sunglasses of the Airstream. This allows you to do some cool things. There's roll switches here, so I can set my uh, awning at any location. Inside, all tempered glass. This allows me to uh, do a three position jealousy type window. So not only do I have the window awning wraps on this, I also have, of course, the Lexan uh, sunglasses protects it and also looks cool. Then, stainless steel. This is the jewelry of the Flying Cloud. This allows me to protect the trailer, but also being that this is our ground protection, um, uh, road debris, if you will, I can polish buff this out. It pivots out so I can get behind here, make sure my airstream is clean, have all that fun stuff. I have dual deep cell batteries. These are 12 volt uh, interstate marine type batteries. Bottom line is, that allows you, if you're going off grid for a weekend with two batteries, all LED, you're covered. So the dual battery thing on a 23 foot platform is really cool. I've got 40 foot trailers here that's with a single battery. Single battery and only 40 pounds of propane. I've got dual 30 pound uh, tanks of LP. That is 60 pounds of propane. Uh, also for that whole concept of off grid, dry camping, whatever. I'm covered as far as my propane. Your undermount tire carrier is in the front of the trailer. Two things happen there. It's not on the back of the trailer, so UV light can degrade it. Also, no one knows where it is, uh, and it's easy to get to. But with Airstream comes CoachNet, which is 24-7 roadside assistance. It's like uh, AAA on steroids. Uh, they come to you and take care of issues that you might have. We'll talk about that in the not too distant. You have the Barker system here. This is your leveling system. Uh, works certainly when you are hooking up to that vehicle. Um, makes it easy. The other thing is to ultimately to level the travel trailer. Everything is at your fingertips and it is all push button. You also have lighting there. Along with this we have a quick disconnect propane port. That will allow me, will give you a length of uh, of LP hose so that I can take that propane and uh, plug in my uh, grill, uh, backflow propane into the system itself and it's uh, located in between the uh, the, tor the tongue up here so it's uh, protected if you will. Now you got this beautiful, we talked about the uh, awning, this is a, this is your window wrap awning, this pulls out so Right here is going to be your refrigerator. While it's a very cool look, it also is going to protect your refrigeration system. Along with that, I have locking potable water. Uh, no one has access to your fresh water system because it locks. You have your 30 amp service input here, along with your TV and satellite input. So those are both uh, at your fingertips. Dual deep cell, dual, um, Dexter axles. I love the dual Dexter axle. Why do I like that? Well, the bottom line is, first of all, you have electronic brakes on all four wheels. That goes to the safety factor. The other thing is because basically you have independent suspension with a, an additional um, shock absorber system. It really is about protecting your stuff on the inside. Uh, the Airstream uh, windows. These are all radius, UV protected. They are buck riveted. This, uh, this is kind of the cool factor, if you will. By the way, the finish on the new Airstream is a 3M finish, which is applied at the Alcoa factory, and then Airstream takes on the aluminum. Uh, Airstream rejects more aluminum than the entire aircraft industry combined. And it's really about the fit, the finish, and overall, Maintenance. I mean, when it comes right down to it, an Airstream, that's a tough question because how do I maintain my Airstream? That's on you 
Uh, frankly, they're the lowest maintenance travel trailer on the marketplace. Also with that comes obviously the best resale of any travel trailer on the marketplace. So then some of the fun stuff. I have an outdoor shower. This is uh, that fun opportunity to have both a um, hot and cold running shower. So if we're going to hose off grandma, uh, the kids, the dogs coming out of the water, everything is done of course right here. It's got the, uh, the shower head just like inside. Now, some of the luxury items. I have my city water connection. The great thing about that is it already has a regulator. The incoming water to the travel trailer without adding an additional um, um, appliance will be regulated to 65.5 PSI. So if you're the last one to leave the campground, I don't have to worry about blowing gaskets or messing with my interior PVC tubing. Then we have the... Um, black water flush system. This is all about clean hands. I'm designated here with the gray and black water valve for my uh, uh, sewer septic system and then I have the luxury of being able to blow out that entire tank. It's all about uh, uh, clean hands, looking good um, and also uh, function down the road maintaining my system. Come on around. Okay, now we have, of course, you've got fun stuff here. This is going to be your, your uh, uh, slate covered. Uh, you've got the window wraps that go all the way around, and they, they happen to look cool. I want to make a notation about LED lights. Everything, all my, all my tail lamps, LED. All my running lamps, LED lamps. All my interior lamps are LED. That goes to longevity, but also that goes to that product um, hanging out longer than you and I. Uh, some of the fun stuff. I got a trunk. The trunk's a beautiful thing. That's where I'm going to be storing my, uh, my leveling chalks, my hoses, my stuff like that. And it's an ease of operation. Also, this system sets up if you want to add like a Fiamma bike rack. Also very cool. Once, once again, this is all this is all uh, tempered glass, and this is all radius, uh, buck riveted, and jealousy type. Meaning that I get any rain, it's going to defer all that rain. Absolutely beautifully done. Now, when we talk about the trailer itself, look at all the light that pours in on the 23. We've got door windows, we've got radius windows, we've got uh, front bedroom windows, and when you're when you're talking about the Airstream doors, nothing is better than the Airstream. You have the interior uh, fully welded uh, screen door that has got the people protector and it's got the uh, kit protector. When an Airstream door shuts, it absolutely shuts. Notice the radius here. You've got all this beautiful light pouring in. And once again, when you shut an Airstream door, I love that. And it captures then the screen door, and you have a gasket in, which captures the door on the outside. All of my awnings can be utilized, door open, door closed. You've got a dual entry, and I love the low silhouette. By the way, all of your exterior lamps, and I love the little uh, step lamp here, because that's a little light you can leave on, so that when you have your keys, I'll make sure I got the right key when I'm going in and out of the trailer. All Airstreams, by the way, are individually keyed. So uh, you get two sets of keys. Uh, once you lock this door, very difficult to get into an Airstream. Come on in, let's check this out. Okay, obviously I think what catches your eye first in the Airstream is uh, the drama of how beautiful everything is with the, the cashew leather, all of this uh, beautiful cabinetry. The brains are all right here though. You have overhead lighting for an outside awning LED lamp, lamp strip that is on uh, a dimmer switch. It's, that's kind of the jewelry, the, the beauty of this thing. Your battery disconnect switch, all of your interior lighting switches are at your fingertips. So I can control this planet just by walking in, which is absolutely beautiful. So everything once again at my fingertips. The, um, as I walk in, first of all, you're going to see 
uh, the dinette, but I think some of the cool things, let's start with the bathroom. This is the biggest bathroom in the business. This has a, a porcelain toilet that has a uh, sure flush on it. You have the um, Moen faucet, deep, deep well stainless, walk-in pebbled glass for the uh, shower. So you've got all kinds of room to stand up and uh, change your socks. All of the lighting is all LED. You have the uh, uh, ocean air shades. So once again, and I love the addition here of the porthole. Then as we get to the galley, what, what happens is, first of all, some of the neat things. I've got the fully, uh, and this is your um, uh, basket system so that you can uh, change all the uh, uh, shelving on the unit. Overhead, by the way, these doors, they're all side-mounted and bolted. Um, you know, Airstream, as far as their construction, they don't use any... That's why it is a green concept. They don't use any of the formaldehydes, the glues, the things that uh, could affect you in the long run. People with allergies, buy the Airstreams. A dual deep well stainless. Uh, I love the fact you've got a dual deep well stainless sink. Um, you have the uh, three burner range uh, with the oven. And then, of course, when it comes to uh, pantry space, uh, storage space, the uh, Airstream, it doesn't get any better than this. A lot of light pouring in here. Your um, inverter system. This 23 is equipped with an inverter system. What that allows you to do is have an additional set of plugs where you can plug in. If you are working off of your battery power, you have a thousand watts of power at your disposal so that I can plug in my computer, I can plug in my phone, my coffee maker, and have that opportunity when I'm dry camping, I do not need to be plugged into that external power source or shore power. Uh, that just is, goes to the next step where I got my TV going, got all my fun stuff. Now let's check out the dinette. This is really kind of a, first of all, you've got this beautiful U-shaped um, uh, cashew leather with all the light pouring in. But check this out. This allows me to uh, turn if I want to just get into... And let's say I have the uh, my computer. I'm turning, and now I've got everything. I can lock this into place. But this is just this is just. And what this is is on a hydraulic system, so that when I'm not, I can utilize the table. I can then drop it into position, and then create a big lounge area. And of course, I still have all this beautiful light pouring in. Uh, I have the new Clarion sound system. I have the. Uh, Blue uh, Blu-ray uh, DVD player, additional charging ports for my USB. But along with that, I have the opportunity here to plug into the system via a USB port, which allows me to say do my Netflix, my Pandora radio, and obviously all of that beautiful storage that we've grown to love about Airstream. There's more storage in an Airstream than anybody could ever believe of. Now, this is the new system we talked about. This is the overhead ducted AC. So I don't have that actual uh, air conditioning unit sitting within the frame of the travel trailer. This also allows me to cut off individual outlets and send that cool air wherever on the platform I would like it to be. Very nicely accomplished. This, uh, this is a special uh, front bedroom because it's equipped not only with the microwave but the oven. And it has the Dometic system. The Dometic refrigeration system is beautiful because it allows me to do an automatic setting, which gives me that opportunity when I'm plugged into shore power, if I'm loading up to go on my uh, trip, my vacation to the park this weekend, the minute I unplug my shore power, it automatically switches over to propane so that my refrigeration system will work off of both. Uh, yep, uh, nicely accomplished. And then, of course, you've got all of this beautiful storage. You've got dual wardrobes in here, which give you uh, certainly all kinds of opportunities as far as uh, your chest of drawers, your overheads, and then the opportunity for us to separate the master bedroom from the rest of the deck. So if I have guests, they have the opportunity of, I've got my master, They've got their um, um, seating area and sleeping area. And then, of course, you've got the, the big bathroom. Let's check out the master. 
Okay, the master bedroom, uh, which of course we now have that opportunity to enclose uh, and send all that beautiful uh, ducted AC. You have a secondary set of uh, rheostatted lighting. Certainly wardrobes on either side. So that gives us all kinds of opportunity as far as storage, chest of drawers. I, I don't have that we pulled the TV from here, but this is a this is the big screen HD LED TV that wraps around the entire system, meaning that I can watch TV from anywhere on the planet. And that is kind of a cool thing. Now let's talk about all the, look at the light that pours into my uh, master. I've got the panoramic windows. I've got the side uh, radius windows on both sides. And then I have a walk around queen bed, which allows me then, and as far as storage, I've got storage in the, in the flying cloud that is extensive. All the bins are included, all the drawers are included, all the covers, all the pillows. You have a nightstand that has a 110 outlet along with USB ports. So once again, and by the way, additional LED reading lamps. So from the, we, we've got, by the way, also the Dometic heating and cooling system, which gives us the opportunity to have a heat pump. So I've got two sources of heat, not only my overhead heat pump, but I also have my forced air furnace. So the 23, from the standpoint of setup, ah, it's a good one. 23FB, Flying Cloud. Um, we... We love this platform, I guess, because it's uh, maneuverability, because of uh, in a relatively small platform with a dual axle, probably the most mobile airstream on the planet. But uh, it's one for um, well, it's a it's a popular frame, and it's one that we try to keep in stock at all times. Twenty three foot flying cloud. Give me a shout out, guys. Uh, Eric Davis, area code six one four two seven nine eight 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 zero. Or you can get me via email, eric at haydesseed.com. And like I always say, two things. I want you to uh, enjoy the journey, but most of all, happy camping.